is an island No man stands alone Each man's joy is joy to me Each man's grief is my own We need one another The idea behind the three books, I'm coming from the place of practical experience, okay? I felt that it is necessary that we communicate that practicality in forensics across board. And so that's why you see that the books were made to be international standard. These three books takes you through the path of trace evidence. It takes you through, in fact, imbibing the, the investigative skills that is needed in investigation. It could be any kind of crime. It's very important that everyone gets to have this knowledge. I saw the people gather. I heard the music start. I'm intrigued by what Stacy has done. I can tell you most of the time, <laughs> we have to go abroad. We have to go overseas to hire forensic experts to come and do that job for us. She is full of knowledge of the subject and is impacting it to other people through her writing. Uh, for me, it is a celebration. I can tell you people, I'm not just here as father of the day. I'm here to celebrate my daughter and celebrate her in full. Before I even proceed with my address as the chairman of this occasion, I want to name Dr. Stacy to be called henceforth as the Ada of Forensics. <laughs> now, for those that are not Igbos like us, uh, if you like, you can call her the Amazon of Forensics. The infusion of intellectual work as this, the infusion of competence to the level of authorship like this is what we want to see in the civil service. And for us, in the practice of forensics, this book remains highly recommended. And again, I stand on this podium to recommend these books to every sincere searcher of knowledge of forensics in this country or abroad, and also the author for anybody who wants further inquisition or further interrogation of forensic matters. The author did a good work, well-researched books, and we commend her spirit and her perseverance. As a public servant, to sit down, concentrate, have the self-discipline, Deny yourself of many times of pleasure to write books, let alone three books at a time. She's very impressive. Nigerian government policymakers have to read the books and imbibe the contents of the books. It's part of the step towards eradication of corruption in Nigeria. No man is an island. No man stands alone. These books are a testament of the author's hard work, dedication, power of intellectual ideas, perseverance, passion for scholarship, and desire to shift paradigms in accounting theory and practice. I must admit that the author has done well by contributing immensely to the body of existing literature on forensic accounting. Let me therefore commend her for her intellectual prowess in embarking on such a difficult journey and emerging victorious. This is an example for the girl child. She's a married woman with children. She lectures. 
She writes books, and to me, a wonderful, wonderful mentor and teacher. Everybody's calling me Professor Gobir, Professor Gobir. She has a 100% hand in this. What she has done is magnificent. I appeal to all of you to not only buy these books, please read them. After you read them, make your children read them. We share memories I won't forget And we'll share more, my friend, we haven't started yet Forensics has been something that we have been doing the theory most of the time but now we realize that it's very important we do the practicality of forensics so the idea behind all these books is to put all these practical experience into a form of a manual that is concise precise with precision so as for people who are interested in uh, getting into forensic to actually learn and become better in this field especially in the african continent we need one another so i will defend the book on follow the money has addressed professionally the issues of asset tracing recovery and return and if you look at the works of the efcc icpc that is a major work they are doing uh, one thing that is very significant the work is that she has brought out the role forensic accountants are expected to play. And we don't have much of them in this country. And the few we have, at least, uh, will be able to use the book and also inspire other potential professionals to be able to know that such knowledge exists and is, do is now domesticated in one of the books she has published. The authors of this book understand the basis of ensuring people understand what they need to do. Hence, they have commenced and authored this particular book. Now, if you check this book, you will understand the concept of emotional intelligence and what is thesis telling us with the concept of emotional intelligence. You must understand your emotion and emotion of those that are around you because their action and omission can cause you trouble. It's very important that we are led by evidence. And that evidence should be facts that can be demonstrated. And forensic is a potent tool to be able to present this evidence in a way that it is valid and in a way that our justice mechanism can make use of it. And like they say, the fact speaks for itself, even for the members of the public to have confidence in the process. So the message is follow the evidence. Let us embrace forensics as a potent tool, not only for investigation, even in our daily operations, like forensic auditing. It is not just because we are doing investigation, but it's because we want to ensure there is validity of the process. To encourage your wife in their endeavors, because when you, when you act as a backbone and a buffer, the person, she will be able to excel to greater heights. It's a journey that was started a few years back by encouragement, we got to this level. So the girl child equally needs other encouragement. So it's a message to the outer world that we don't need to keep our women down. We need to bring our women up. A loving and a wonderful mother to my wonderful kids. Uh, very respectful. Whatever she sets her mind to do, she achieves it. She's such an amazing woman. She has a beautiful strength of character. She's so gorgeous in like dealing with people. I'm learning how to be nice and independent as a woman. Because Dr. Stacey does summer lessons on forensics, elementary forensics, and I had a lot of summer lessons from her. I learned that forensics is like law. It breeds justice. It, it seeks out the, the truth in different situations, in different aspects of life. It uses facts to be like a source of justice for the society. Today is a celebration of academics. I'm very, very excited that she made us proud and she made Nigerians proud today. It's no longer the time we'll be hiring forensic experts in overseas. 
Today we have indigenous forensic experts in Nigeria that can investigate in so many areas of endeavors, both politically and otherwise. I know her to be a very astute, hardworking woman. Uh, she's a perfectionist. This book she has delivered, three books, is a very important feat. I recommend this book for the, the books for the read of all because I know it is, it's a work thoroughly done and it is highly recommended for academics. I'd like to congratulate her on this milestone. It's a year man's job to launch three books at a go. And to say that the books are well researched and um, provides in depth into the field of forensic which is upcoming in Nigeria. She is an exceptional person. She's a gem and then unveiling her is something else. She has so much embedded in her. When you touch her, it's like the keyboard. When you touch one point, it gives you so many solutions. She's something else and I thank God for her because her life is becoming an unveiling thing to so many people that will change lives. No man is an island, no man stands alone, each man's choice.